You all are beautiful people. Amazing worship. So much energy and passion in here for Jesus. It's so cool to be here. I love you guys so much because this church, this body of believers, you guys have supported life. You guys have supported Pregnancy Care Center from the very beginning. So you're my favorite people on the planet. So thank you so much for your support. I'm here more or less to uh, tell some of you guys that have never heard of Pregnancy Care Center a little bit about what we do. For 15 years, Pregnancy Care Center has partnered with people just like you, churches just like you. And as a result, more than 8,000 children are loving life in 15 years. So that deserves a hand clap. Praise God. 8,000 children. Thank you so much for your continued generosity and support. And not all pregnancy care centers, not all PRCs have this uh, kind of statistic, but we do. 96% of our clients who walk in the doors uh, choose to parent or a place for adoption following an ultrasound, 96%. So um, we're just so thankful that you guys uh, support us, that you not only pray for us, not only do you say you love us and you like us, but you support us financially, and that's what keeps it all going. Um, everything is free to our clients, free ultrasounds, free pregnancy tests, but how many of you guys know nothing's free? <laughs> everything costs money. It's free to them, but it costs a lot to have 19 full-time staff and all of the nurses um, that we have. Uh, tomorrow morning, I will walk into our building right there on Primrose, where you're all invited for a tour anytime you want you don't all show up tomorrow, that'll be a little overwhelming. But if you ever wanted to or come on by right there on the Medical Mile, we'd love to show you around. But our lobby will be packed tomorrow morning with uh, young families and young girls that are facing a crisis pregnancy. Some of them already have scheduled terminations in St. Louis. And they may be living in a world where the boyfriend or the family member is, is screaming, terminate, get rid of the child. And we only have them for about an hour and a half. You think that time is vital? We need your prayers. And so prayerfully, you know, we, we, we pray and we support them and we love them through this storm. And our, 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 I call them God's girls, but these gals I work with, 19 amazing women, they speak life to these girls. They, they speak peace to their storm. And after they meet with a mentor, these clients, and after they see the baby on the ultrasound, they choose life. And that's why we're there. We also have an awesome program called 417 Dads. A lot of these uh, young fathers, you know, they know nothing. And we have a daddy boot camp. They learn how to change diapers and all kinds of things. And we have a baby boutique. And the list goes on and on. We even created a new class this year called Beautifully Made, where we're instilling um, virtue and love into these young women and helping them build their character. So uh, we appreciate your prayers. Uh, we appreciate you also liking our Facebook page, doing all those things on social media. We don't want to be a secret in town. We want everyone to know that we exist. Uh, I would love for you guys to take one of our flyers. Um, uh, hopefully you picked up one of these when you walked in or we have them on, on the table in the back. Um, these are our kids. We didn't buy these kids off the internet. You know, these are our children. Uh, we do photo shoots with them. We're really proud of them. We love them so much. And, uh, we just appreciate you guys uh, loving us and caring for us and praying for us. And that's one thing that I try to convey to the churches. The spiritual warfare at Pregnancy Care Center is very real. You know, we're, we're literally saving lives. Um, so we would appreciate your prayers as, the, as a body of believers to lift us up. If you would just take this and tuck it away in your Bible to remember that, uh, that you should pray for us because your prayers matter. There's much power when we agree. Uh, power is made available when we pray. Um, I have a lot of awesome stories that I'd love to share you share with you, and I could be here all morning. But last fall, I was just having one of those ordinary days where there's a lot of emails and, and pushing paper through and, and all these different things, contracts being signed for different – we're getting billboards out and uh, park benches to get pregnancy care center out to let people know that we offer hope, life, and help in this, in this place we go home. But uh, one of our nurses, Cheryl, she caught me in the kitchen. She's like, hey, Casey, pray. She goes, we have three girls in the lobby right now. And they all have, the, their, two of them have scheduled terminations in St. Louis. They all have termination on their mind. You've got to pray with us that they choose life. And, and we did. We prayed. And then we go about our day. We have our to-do list. we got to work, you know. And then around 4 o'clock that afternoon, I asked Cheryl, I caught her. I'm like, what happened with the girls? And she said, all three chose life, Casey. And it just, it, it gives you so much passion and so much just love for what we do. It's awesome to be a part of an organization that works, like this church, it works, right? 